Many Afghans living in remote locations without power or running water are faced with a challenging energy crisis. But the country's recent advancement of a new technology could light the way to a brighter future. A biogas digester is a very simplified version of a typical wastewater treatment plant in the United States. It's nothing more than uh, uh, manure decomposing in, uh, in a confined space. The two end products are biogas and uh, compost. Refuse, dung, and raw materials are placed in this inlet chamber right here and then stirred and processed until they are collected down in a dome at the bottom. As a next stage in this process, the refuse moves along an underground tunnel where it converges in this underground dome right here. As the compost begins breaking down, it produces methane gas, which is collected and then run through this pipe. The pipe sends the methane gas to a household where it can be used to cook and provide energy for lights. The final stage of this process, the compost moves from that underground dome over to this compost pit. This compost is then collected and can be used as a non-toxic fertilizer on crops, which makes it very valuable to farmers. This system was created uh, and built on that site for less than $22,000. A typical solar pan uh, panel installation will cost tens of thousands of dollars more. Which goes to support counterinsurgency operations in Afghanistan. Well, what that does is that puts money into people's pockets. We help develop an, a predominantly agrarian society, and uh, we help connect the agrarian society in the rural areas to the urban areas. U.S. forces are working with the Afghan Ministry of Renewable Energy to advance this technology, supporting the needs of the country's economy and development. In Kabul, I'm Petty Officer Cody Hitson.